The Self-Employment Income Support Scheme provides support to self-employed people whose business has been affected by coronavirus. This video takes you through the steps of making the claim. Claims can be made from the day that customers have been given as part of the eligibility check. If you are unsure of the date, you can log back into the eligibility checker at any time to see when your claim window opens. If you haven't received any contact from us and you believe that you are eligible, we recommend using the eligibility checker after the 17th of May to check. HMRC is continually imp improving online services to provide the best customer experience. For this reason, some of the following screenshots may vary, but will still give you an idea of what to expect. To receive money via the Self-Employment Income Support Scheme, you'll need to make your claim on or after the date we've advised you to. Firstly, you will need to visit gov.uk and search for the Self-Employment Income Support Scheme. To access the claim tool, you'll need your UTR and National Insurance Number. You will then Access a screen advising you that you'll need to use your Government Gateway user ID and password to sign in and make your claim. You will then be prompted to sign in. This screen confirms you are eligible to make a claim, but before continuing, you will need to confirm you traded in the tax year 2019-20. You intend to continue to trade in the tax year 2020 to 2021 and your business has been adversely affected by coronavirus. Please read the other information on this page before accepting and continuing. Please be assured that we have built checks into this scheme to prevent fraud and protect public money. You'll be prompted to enter your full name, email address and UK mobile number. You will be presented with details of your grant, including the amount you have been awarded. Details of how we have arrived at your average trading profits will also be shown. If you'd like more information on how this has been worked out, there is a link that you can follow. You can print this off, for example, to share with your agent if you wish to do so. If you think the amount of your grant is wrong, we recommend you still proceed with the claim to guarantee payment. You can still contact HMRC after your grant has been paid to have the grant reviewed. If you have an agent or tax advisor, you can consult with them and get advice. You'll be asked to select whether you'd like your grant paid into a personal or business bank account. This must be a UK bank account. And the account must also be able to accept BAX transfers. You will then need to provide the name on the account, the sort code, the account number, the roll number if it's being paid into a building society account. You'll be asked to confirm your address that is linked to this bank account. Simply enter the postcode and select the address using the Find Address facility. You can also enter the address manually. This page summarises the information you have entered. If any information has been entered incorrectly, you can edit the details by selecting Change. You must confirm that all details entered are correct before proceeding. This summary will also provide an opportunity to confirm your declaration that your business has been affected adversely by coronavirus. Your claim is in accordance with HMRC's published guidance. The information provided is correct to the best of your knowledge and if any of this information changes, you will contact HMRC 
to amend your claim. You will then be prompted to accept and submit your claim. Once you have submitted your claim, you will receive online notification immediately telling you your grant has been approved, the grant awarded and your claim reference number. Please make a note of your reference number for your records. If there are any problems with your claim, HMRC will contact you. We will also provide you with information about what will happen next and what you should do next. HMRC will check your claim after which the grant will be paid. It will be paid in one instalment into your nominated bank account within six working days. From the 25th of May, if you've claimed over six working days ago and you're still waiting for your grant to be paid, please contact HMRC. Again, from the 25th of May, if you think you are eligible for support from the Self-Employment Income Support Scheme but haven't been contacted by HMRC, we would advise you to visit gov.uk and check your eligibility using the checker. If you are eligible, this will allow you to directly make a claim. You must keep a copy of all records, including the amount claimed, the claim period and the claim reference number. You should also keep any evidence that your business has been adversely affected by coronavirus. Evidence includes business accounts showing a reduction in turnover, confirmation of any coronavirus related business loans you have received, dates your business had to close due to lockdown restrictions, dates you or your staff were unable to work due to coronavirus symptoms, shielding or caring responsibilities due to school closures. You'll need to report the grant as self-employed income for any claims to universal credit and also as self-employed income and that you're working 16 hours a week for any tax credits claims. The grant you receive will be subject to income tax and self-employed national insurance deductions as normal. HMRC will publish guidance on which tax year this grant needs to be reported in soon. The government is also providing additional help for the self-employed. You may be able to delay VAT payments, delay your self-assessment payment on account, arrange to pay your self-assessment tax bill in instalments, or get a payment from the Small Business Grant Fund, or get a loan from the Business Interruption Loan Scheme, or get a loan from the Bounce Back Loan Scheme, get universal credit, or apply for Employment Support Allowance, known as ESA. We'd encourage you to visit gov.uk to see what support is available. Thank you and stay safe and stay well.